Hello, I'm John Chowney in Palo Alto, California. During these difficult times, many of us are sequestered because of infection or fear of infection. But technology allows us to safely come together as friends and colleagues to celebrate the 30th anniversary of Traitoria, directed by Martino Traverso. It was founded the same year in 1990 that we met when Martino visited Stanford University's Center for Computer Research in Music and Acoustics, known as CCRMA or CARMA. Three years later, Martino invited me to Parma for the Tritorie concert at the wonderful Teatro Farnese. The program was ambitious. It included two computer-generated electronic pieces, Ludgard Brumers, Le Tombeau de Maurice, and my own Fourné. Ludgar's piece was written in 1992 and mine in 1981. But the highlight of the concert was the two beautifully performed pieces, Martino's La Città Invisibili in 1992, the year before, and Luciano Berrio's Chemin de, both by the ensemble Edgar Varese. Particularly important from my point of view was Martino's use of live electronics with the solo bassoon and four percussionists. In 1993, live electronics were not so easily integrated as they are today in our fully digital age, but La Citta Invisibili was powerful and convincing. Then in 2013, I returned with my wife's soprano, Maureen, and we performed my voices for soprano and interactive electronics at La Casa del Suono Due. You see, I was catching up. I want to say, that maintaining a particular aesthetic based on high quality performance and a deep and enduring commitment to the roots of 20th, 21st century music is admirable as so much music today is tainted by the easy and obvious from popular music and electronic dance music. So I commend Martino, his fellow composers, and the musicians whose commitment to new music makes it all possible. So to you all, I wish you a happy anniversary.